Welcome back, guys. CJ versus Jin Air. Jin Air is crushing him so far on the back of SOS. It's 2-0 already, taking out Hero and Ragnarok. Surprising sniper pick there on Echo. He does go down. Who is the next player they're going to send up against SOS? The map is going to be Expedition Lost. That's the scary, scary question right now, Valdez. Who else do they have that they could possibly bring out to deal with a scary Protoss player like SOS? It's, uh, it really is the question we're all waiting to hear. Do they want to send out maybe another Protoss? Is it time? Mm. <laughs> Do they want to send out a Hush now? Is it time for Hush? Hush on Expedition Lost, the PvP that we don't normally get to see. No. To be honest, I think Hush was the choice for last game, but I don't want to see him now. Because even if he wins on Expedition Lost, which, you know, it's... We don't even know if that's going to happen. He has to go into Cactus Valley next. There are a lot of players on dinner, I think, that can take him out easily on that big map. Is it Beyond? Is it Beyond time? I suppose. I mean, he's not going up against a Zerg player on Expedition Lost. He knows that much. He knows the very least that. We'll find out in a second. Who's it going to be? It's going to be oh. Pyo! Coming out already. All right. They're bringing out the Lost Bing Gun as uh, CJ have. And this guy went down pretty horribly yesterday to reign in ZVP in the GSL Grand Finals. So it's kind, of a, it's kind of a scary thing to think about today, man. Especially now that yeah. SOS is on a roll already. It is Expedition Lost, though, so he does have that going for him. It really comes down to where his mindset is uh, after that loss yesterday. If he can just wipe that from his memory and play for today, he was able to do it last time. He was able to sweep them last time, in fact, or at least take three games. So if he can come out and do something similar, CJ is definitely not out of this. Definitely not. SOS looking for kill number three. I think he'll be a little bit happy that it is Biel, but this map makes things a little bit more complicated. He obviously got to see how Biel was playing yesterday and exactly what Rain did to take him apart. Could be looking for the same thing. Yeah. I love hearing this song and looking at SOS after he takes down two people. So like you put two bullets into two people's head and now he's up on next here going up against Biel. Right. He's just like got his tongue on his cheek, just looking like a badass. He's like, well, who's next? I don't care. He ain't even smiling anymore. He's just ready to kill. Yeah. This guy is on another level. He's already done his job. Behind SOS, we have uh, Maru, we've got Rogue, we've got so many different players that can come out easily I and think, take games. I think if he beats Biel right now, he's going to four it. I would agree with you there. I would actually agree with you 100%. Because SOS is that player, he draws on that energy. And if he can take out one of the best Zerg players in the world right now, right here on Expedition Lost, Zerg favorite map, a lot of people would say. Although, Zest made it look easy the last time he played against Biel on this map. So, that is true. Could go either way here, I believe. Pretty tricky matchup for Zerg these days. So, uh, a lot of them running into a wall, especially if they go to late game. It's all about getting there for the Protoss. That's really what it's about. I think we're about to jump into this game number three. Bill looking ready to go. He doesn't look too uh, taken back from that loss yesterday. He looks pretty focused for today, I would have to say. Well, we're jumping in just a sec. I'm excited to see what Bjell has to offer. He hasn't had any time at all to prepare for this either, mind you. Yep, none at all. Although he did prepare against mostly, you know, Protoss. That, that is true. The last long while. That is true. He also did take out SOS in the GSL round of four, so keep that in mind. He does have that history. Maybe he can use that today. He's definitely got a good read on SOS. Let's see how it's going to go down right now on Expedition Lost for game number three. Top right in the green is SOS in the Genera Green Wings. Down here in the bottom left for CJ, the second ace of the team, it's Bial. Has to get this win, or I think CJ is just going to be out of this. That was a weird face Bial just made. That's kind of the face I make when um, you're playing a game and you're just getting strict. And you're just like, well, I guess I lost. It's <laughs> kind of the face he just made. I'm kind of worried for him right now. Yeah, well, he no doubt uh, can't be coming to this with a very positive mindset, dealing with uh, Protoss a lot in recent times yeah. and having very little success. Yeah. 
the only real success I think he had was against SOS in that round of four. Mm. And SOS could have really fixed his stuff since then, too. Like, he, he could have oh, gone yeah. back, looked at that, like, this is how I lost. This is how everyone else is beating Biel right now. But Expedition lost. You know. Also, um, SOS is so good for best of ones. You, you know, Biel did see the, the style that he was playing on that last map, but SOS played very straight up. There was nothing in that game in game number two where he played against Ragnarok that was kind of like, oh, that's SOS. You know, you got to be careful of this. I mean, Biel already knows what the possibilities are, but SOS is extremely tricky. Yeah, there's no real tells there. And look at that same build as Lost Game. So SOS not even going to mix it up this time around. He's going to play straight up to start things off. I wouldn't be surprised if he just phased very similar. Yeah. Similarly to the I mean, way he did in game number two. This kind of build order as well, you get a lot of options. You oh. know. He's going to be maybe looking for it. No, no. Just baiting it out. Baiting out that probe to check it. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing down here? The drone. Gonna push him out now. Pro coming back here for SOS. Just wants to scout, make sure Bill is not being too aggressive. Yeah, looking to delay this next as five looks of things. Second pro coming down pretty early too. It's gonna give him more than enough time to deflect this drone. Nice micro there by SOS to push him out. And it looks like Bell may just do the same thing that Ragnarok did in the last game, to steal one gas. Yeah, I guess it's going to be that way. Yeah, fair enough. I like it. Yeah. I mean, Ragnarok had a fantastic start and mid-game, uh, last game. You know, it was just about that late-game decision-making, what he should go for in the amount of time he had. And I'm sure Bell's going to not make that same mistake. Piala has a very different way of playing things as well. Yeah, he really does. Uh, the only thing I worry about Piala on this map is that game where I saw him up against SOS. Like, kind of same format, best of one. You know, SOS is a little bit more tired, but, you know, different game here against Biel. And Biel just, you know, he was throwing Hydras up a ramp in the back door. SOS had, like, one sentry and a couple of cannons. Took down, like, ten Hydras for free, basically. Right. And then right. he, like, tried this all-in desperate attack at the third base because he had no transition, and they just, like, GG'd out. And I'm like, whoa. That doesn't look like Bill to me. No. Well, I think we could see more of that today, if yesterday has anything to do with it. Yeah. If it tells us anything. Cheerful. Says, yesterday, GSL. He's from Ulsan. I think that's pretty south of South Korea. I've heard of that before. Ulsan. Said, yesterday, GSL. Today, Pro League. My life is awesome because I'm a StarCraft fan. It's true. You do have a pretty awesome life if you like StarCraft, that's for sure. I actually just made that part up. It didn't actually say that on the sign, but Aww. that's what he meant to say. That's totally what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> it was a I know shot. there's some like Korean in the chat. He's like, that's not what it said. <laughs> You're fine, Valdez. Oh. He's going to put down another robo. He's going to hide it. Yeah, he's going to keep it hidden for now. He's going to find that other Ling. Ling is at the south of the main base. Stoker heading there. Overlord poking in, but not going all the way and does not see the robotics facility. Now, there's more Lings at the front of this base, but it looks like he's not going to commit any more to scouting it. Gonna keep him outside, keep an eye on what is out there. Look for that third base and maybe try and pick up that natural ramp. Mm -hmm. Have an idea. See if he can poke for the, uh, the scout. A couple more gateways being added, which is something different than last time, Valdez. Yeah, the gateway's coming out much faster. And... An S clan. All right. Yep. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> and we're going to see the War Prism come out again. But this mm. time, Biel does see. And he is going to know what this is. Ah, he does see it. Uh, very sneaky overload. So I wonder what the plan originally was from SOS. Maybe mm. he was going to go for. Actually, <laughs> all right, now we know exactly <laughs> what it is. Five gateways on the way, six gate. War Prism. He's going in. for that ramp. He's going for that ramp. I, I suppose he doesn't have to, but... Well, he can go anywhere with it's this. It's a nice idea. The power of going this kind of style, and look at that in Immortal as well being made. Oh. But the power of this style is that, you know, you get the War Prism over the other side of the map as Warp Gate finishes, and you just pop down a big Warp in at once, and you can just do so much damage. Yeah, so many gateways coming down. I think that Overlord sees the gateways over there to the left side, but he's made a round of seven drones. His Rotorn is only finishing up now. The speed just started. Mm, and he's still droning behind this. This is the scariest uh, thing. So we're going to see some aggression come in here. It's going to really create some chaos for Yell. 
And then there's going to be that Immortal and behind the soul to just do so much extra damage. Yeah. And great place with that probe as well. You know, he's going to have a very sneaky piling up there for when the attack actually begins. That is so sick. And finally, we see Bjell making some units, but it may just be a bit late. You know, all of these gateways are going to be powered up now. Looks like SOS is not going too aggressive just yet. I think he's just forcing out units that he doesn't want to make at this point. And look at that, still Ooh. a lot more drones coming out for Bjell as well. Yeah. Six more drones get made. So greedy right now. Currently at 54 drones to the 36 probes of SOS. This is a very calculated all in out of SOS. He's making only 36, and that's about it. Look at all these zealots. It's going to be zealots. Already two immortals are out here, just one stalker, one sentry. Yeah, going to wait for that second immortal before he comes on up here. It's going to be a pretty tricky, uh, pretty tricky engagement, but that's a pretty tiny army for Biel right now. If SOS crashes in right now, he's going to have such an advantage in army supply. But the window is small. 11 more rages on the way. A lot of times with these all-ins, it's really about that timing window. When do you go for the attack? When do you decide? Because Bill's only got 11 Zerglings and before seven roaches. Now a bunch oh. of the roaches are popping out. But look at all these Protoss units. He's got so many Zealots. Yeah, if he gets a good force on this ramp at the right time, it could be pretty important. It looks like he's using all the energy on that Guardian Shield. Got all the energy there and a big time warp on all the roaches in the back left there. And the Immortal is in the back doing so, so much damage. It's totally protected. Yeah, these two Immortals have just got so much buffering with this many Zealots. And Biel is completely overran at this point. His Zealot, his Roach is running for his life. He's committing to drone attacking now. Yep, and he's just trying to make as many Roaches as possible to deal with this. Look at how many drones have gone down now. 16. He's got no natural base mining. And a full surround on all the rest of the Roaches in the right side. The two Immortals are still alive with oh, full health. They're completely untouched, and these Zealots are just... They've done so much work, they've, they've completely dominated these Roaches. The Zealots alone managed to kill so many of the Roaches. These Immortals are just there to clean everything else up. Yep. This is a brutal build from SOS. I don't think Biel saw this coming, but Not very all. nicely planned. Biel played way too greedy for this match, and yep, for completely sure. caught out. You see more and more roads just coming out here, but again, the two Immortals just doing insane amount of damage. This Immortal has 17 kills. And 17. I bet, I bet half of them are, uh, and the other one's got 20, mind you. GG. Yep, GG. So well, there you go. SOS takes down Fial, and, and CJ doesn't have man. any more answers. Well, there they've got one last desperate answer, and I think it has to be Beyond at this point. Yeah. It most likely is almost definitely going to be Beyond, but SOS has killed all the ace players of the team. Yep. Making it look easy. He doesn't even look that happy. He's like, ah, you know, that was that was really easy. It's another Zerg player. Yeah. He's like, I've done this so many times before. I'm so used to this now. <laughs> Next map, I believe it's going to be Cactus Valley. And it is indeed. So I guess we're going to see Byung come out here. I, I didn't know who else it would be. No, I, I think it has to be Byung. And the question is, does Byung have the skill? Does he have the you know, endurance to do a reverse all kill against Jin Air and their stacked lineup? I think the answer is no. Uh, that's a, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty hard thing to do at this point for any player when they go to go up against the likes of Maru as well. Yeah. You go TBT with Maru, Maru defeated Dream 4-1 in a TBT best of seven in the uh, first season of SSL. Maru very strong, TBT is taking out Innovation. Other big names as well. Made it look easy. Rogue, so, so good against Terran as well. And yeah, just a, a very sad day here for CJ, whereas SOS is just taking them down one by one. Yeah, very sad couple of days for Fial, uh, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. So added to the li list of losses against Protoss in recent times. What a way to die, too. Yeah. Because you're in that situation where you're like, I have to get greedy here. You know, the Protoss is so brutal on this map, I can't even really attack them on this map. They are so safe on three bases. So I'm just going to be greedy with my economy, try to play for that late game. But then the Protoss comes out and he does something like that that he would have never expected. A 36 probe all in with Zealot Immortal. One century Such a for, the Gordy, uh, for the Guardian Shield. Yep. That's it. It was, it was super well prepared, super well planned, and it was just... So deadly. I like it so much too because it was the same opening that SOS did in the previous game. Yeah. So it looked exactly the same to a point. And then obviously everything else came with it with the Immortals and that many salads. For sure. I mean, uh, SOS, he is just uh, a very, very smart Kurdos player. He's very intelligent. He knows what he's doing. Now, comes down to that final game.